guys, and welcome back to another episode of Raquanda's Real Estate Real Talk. You guys are gonna love this episode because today I'm bringing in my associate broker, Miss Sherry Roberts, and we're going to talk about short sale. Not only that, but this is going to be a series, so you don't want to miss it. So before we get started, go ahead and hit the like button, go ahead and hit the bell so that you will not miss any episodes to this series. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. about this series so because sherry's been doing short sales for how many years since 2008 i think i invented them <laughs> i'm going to interview her so that you guys have the most updated information and the most accurate information and we are exp realtors located in loxahatchee so if you're thinking about short sales give us a call all right, Sherry, so tell me, what is a short sale? A short sale is when the owner or the seller owes more than the property, unfortunately, is worth. So what does that mean, really? In vernacular of the regular person, I guess that would mean they're upside down or we say underwater. Unfortunately, and I know you're probably thinking, there are no short sales now because prices are skyrocketing. That is true. However, if the forbearance plan that everybody's under right now uh, keeps accelerating and people are pushing their payments off, they may not be able to afford the lump sum payment or the additional principal that they have to put in their payment to catch up. And therefore, now they're in a situation where they have to sell their home or unfortunately lose it. And I never want anybody to lose their home. And most of us want to do the right thing. Um, and short sales the answer to that and that's their ticket out and freedom and to unburden them from what is happening in their lives. Okay, so let's talk about this. So when a person finds themselves upside down, are there other options besides a short sale that we can consider? Yes, there is a forbearance plan which is where the bank may agree to put your payments off for a little while. Um, that is up to you to discuss financially because if your payment's $2,000 and you do not make those payments for three months, they will take that $6,000 and make you pay it either in a lump sum or add $500 a month to your already expensive $2,000 payment. Okay. You could do a deed in lieu, which if the bank will accept, you hand them back the property, you don't owe any money, you're not in any kind of trouble, um, and they just take the property back. Uh, there is a modification, which actually is really good if you're able to do that. You would have to prove hardship and the bank would be willing to modify your payment with no penalties. That's the key right there. Um, and the only thing that a, sh um, a real estate agent is allowed to help you with though is the short sale. So if you're going to go through all those processes, short sale might be your best bet. Now, when you do a short sale, there could be other personal reasons. God forbid death in the family, uh, again, if you lose a job, reduction in income, overextended credit, or divorce, usually those reasons or relocation. Um, if your job is further than, I believe, 70 miles away, they're more apt to grant you a short sale because you have to go for your, your employment. That is great information, you guys. So I'm going to tell you this. We're not going to give you all of it in one video. So. Go ahead and just scroll through our feed and find video number two that talks about how do you start the process of a short sale. Until the next video, guys, be blessed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want to watch a video that you want us to produce a video that you want to know more about. Looking forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye.